안녕하세요. 림베이시 싱가포르 남자입니다. 한국 토스트. 예. So this is another kanjik, another western food that Koreans make better. In. Korean toast come with so many different feelings. Look at that. So it's my turn now. I just ordered meun from Katsu. Um, it's a spicy pork cutlet. And yeah, this making here. Let's see how it tastes. Let's see how it's making the shit. Actually grill the bread and the insides as well. And that is the most important part by the way. The, the egg slab, the whole slab of egg that you put inside the, the toast itself. So here it is. It's a how much stuff and a lot of sauce inside. So, let's see. Mm. Oh. There's actually two cutlets inside. It's a double pork cutlet. Let's talk here. Mm. Moshi soya, warm. This heavenly. Hmm. Hmm. 먹으면서 오늘은 주제는요. 한국 국제 결혼에 대한 이야기 하도록 하겠습니다. So today, I'm just while eating, I'm just gonna talk about international marriage in Korea. Particularly, I wanna talk about this. There is a huge difference between you if you are a female foreigner coming here to marry a Korean guy or oh, and if you are a foreign guy coming to Korea to marry a Korean girl a huge difference and a world of difference there's there's a reason why you will find a lot more foreigners including Singaporean girls married to Korean guys here than foreigner guys married with Korean girls here especially Singaporean guys married with Korean girls here I would say the number, the ratio of Singaporean girls married with Korean guys versus Singaporean guys married with Korean girls is 9 is to 1 or 10 is to 1 yeah, or much more is to 1 yes guys, there is a huge difference now, if you are a foreigner girl and you are here to marry a, for a Korean guy actually it's way easier than if you are a foreigner guy trying to marry a Korean girl you know why is that so? Now, Korean guys when they marry a, a foreigner girl, they're actually marrying something exotic into the family. Now, now, Korean marriage is all about the family, by the way. Okay, so they they're actually getting something like a prize wife, some uh, an exotic wife into the family. So it's interesting and it's acceptable to the family usually. But when yeah, a foreigner guy trying to marry away a foreign a Korean girl here is a completely different story because to a Korean they are giving their daughter away all right actually in many other cultures as well and they will not prefer not to give their daughter away to someone with no family background status or anything here in Korea it's Korean marriage is really a marriage between two families right and most importantly it's about face it's about reputation it's about family reputation so i would say if you're a guy and you want to marry a foreign a uh, korean girl actually the easiest way to do so is to marry a korean girl in your country because that, that is really easy because you're helping the korean girl move to your country okay and usually the parents won't have a problem with that but if you're a foreigner guy marrying a korean girl and intend to stay here in korea now that's a huge problem because why because it's like a reverse marriage in the eyes of a Korean they're giving a daughter away but hey you guys are here uh, so and there is no family here you don't have a family here to back you up that, that is very important to in a Korean culture you need to have a family here to back you up so if you are a foreigner guy and you want to marry a Korean girl here I think the the, mo the, the most high probability way of doing so is firstly if you're white now a lot of Korean families will accept white males into the family because it it helps them produce very exotic looking babies okay that is the truth it's genetic now if you're not white the darker your, i'm gonna tell you the cold hard truth which is the darker your skin color the harder it is in fact if you're non-white it's already next to impossible 
to really marry a Korean wife here and stay for the sake of staying in Korea okay or okay so I would say unless you're white and handsome or two you're very very rich now Korean society it's not a bad thing okay it's just it's just what it is it's a very very pragmatic society where reputation and wealth means a lot so if you're just a foreigner guy or nobody they have no they have no grounds giving you their daughter's hand and seriously in the end the family has the final say not the girl okay i'm gonna tell you the truth 99 percent of the time is if the family says no the girl is the, the girl will just give up as well okay so don't bang on it um so un unless you are extremely wealthy you're you're huge you're a boss of a huge corporation there's no reason to reject you okay or you're white and you're handsome and they need your jeans eat all if you're anything in between, you're non-white and you're poor, okay, chances are no matter how much you love each other, okay, in the end of the day, the family's gonna say no and it's just gonna walk away. You may try to prove yourself too hard, you gotta spend a lot of time, energy and money in the process of trying to prove yourself, but you, most of the time, 99% of the time, it comes out to nothing, alright? So that is the truth about international marriage here in Korea and I, and it's not just from my own experience I took these conclusions from I, I can't count the number of international couples and people who are facing problems in their international marriages here in Korea right yep so yeah it's I and okay and so it's, it's also it doesn't that does it's not it doesn't apply of course everybody is different like if you are if you're a guy and you're certain that your girl and their family is different well then yeah then good you know maybe you're lucky right but most of the time I just say in a general sense this is this this is the case right so yep Dimpei is in so I'm gonna finish up my toast Annyeong